I have 15 minutes to tell you if you should buy these or not. I'm giving myself a limitation because I filmed this review twice because I'm not absolutely in love with the D200s. They are a fully capable, fully stocked, murder killing you fucking 260 watts, total power, 2.0 swan setup. I've done the uh, D300s a while back and I did the D100s, which are like top of my list. They, they, they dethroned the, the Edifier MR4s for like the small, uh, intimate fucking like desk speakers and then these came along and ruined all of my shit why swan why do you do this to me this little tiny lightweight carpeted bastard has thrown off my entire sense of human justice it's just human injustice now i'm gonna put you right over here so i could look at you you might as well be an anime girl just right there so the fact that those exist for $150, and then you look, you show these to me, which are $400, and I'm like, all right, it's like three times the price. These do more volume, harder hitting low end, and because they're using a ribbon tweeter, they are a little bit more able to throw detail. At the same time, I've had to push them as far back in this space as possible because Regardless of me adjusting the treble or anything, which by the way, the treble and bass adjustments are like the Mark Three, the Mark Two Three Hundreds, where they don't actually make the treble and bass higher; they change the shape of the of the of the EQ curve in other ways. So I've got them both nailed, and despite no matter what I do, it's like these are a slightly more fatiguing set of speakers. Just just in, soft domes are my preference, as Zeos Pantera, Lord of Audio. King of the mountain, I don't know, there's some weird things. My logo actually says king of sound or god of sound. I asked someone to write that. It could be say anything. It could say something about underwear. But I stand here before you and I've been listening to these for hours, hours. And every time I change tracks, I'm like, oh, these are great speakers. And I change tracks again. And like, oh, way to hear the thing. So. Because these are so powerful, the D100s were 60 watts. These are 260 watts. They only made them slightly bigger. And they're now they're an extra 200 watts of power. And I've pushed them loud enough that I've actually heard like physical distortion. Not like the amps breaking up. Like you physically can't push that driver this hard. So I have to sort of in my brain curtail back. Like, all right, lower it down. Lower it down, Z. Z, lower it the fuck down. You're listening too loudly. You're going to lose your hearing. Oh, God. If you want the would it be the cheapest is this the cheapest loud is four hundred dollars the cheapest loud it's probably not the cheapest loud but these are four hundred dollars and i can get a i get evicted from my own house with how loud these things go i i don't think i've actually pushed them to the point where the where the light stops blinking for more volume like it's just constantly i'm gonna hold it Holy shit. All right, I'm going to scroll back to the beginning of the song. I'm going to play one second of it at the maximum volume. We're going to stand way the fuck back. Hopefully this remote call doesn't die. Hold on. Okay, this is officially the loudest set of swans. No, that's a lie also. Because the M500s and, and uh, M5As exist and those are 8 inch. But holy shit. If I had to find like the party piece for these is that you can just keep turning the volume up until they self-destruct. I turned it down like seven times and it's still loud. I, I think I know now why there's a metal grill in front of this. It's not to protect the driver from you. It's to protect you from the driver. It's that scene from Watchmen with, with Rorschach. It's like, no, 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 no. You're locked in here with me. Because that thing is fucking you. And I had to push them away because these are not desk speakers. Do not. Eat. I look how I'm talking to like you like you're on the table. Like this, this table, like this table here. This big soft padded table. I just kept moving them back. Like here's the line where they usually go. And just like back and then back again. Like just move this speaker over. Slide the wipers on the floor. Just back. I want to be away from these. Which is a two is a two-edged sword. They sound better farther away 
which means it's great for a living room where you're usually farther away. But it also means you can't use them on a desk. You can't use them in a small room. You can run them intimately. And by that, I mean like at quiet volumes. I'm hearing like all the things I want to hear. In line. Uh, Weird Al's hardware store, by the way, if you want to download that in flack and memorize everything he says in that list, like I have. They're playing right now. Can you hear them? They project sound so well, by the way, there's Kitty Cat. That's Swede with the bad ear and the, and the scruff on his back. I got to brush you. Can I brush you? I haven't touched that cat since he's moved in. He won't let me touch him. We live together. I feed him. He, he tells me when he's upset, he yells about the litter box and stuff, but he, we don't touch. We just, it's, it's a no touch relationship. I hit the maximum while it built up to that. So that was impressive. Okay, no, I'm gonna lower the fuck out of this. This is dumb. These are the loudest dumb, loud dumbs. They're four hundred dollars, which is not cheap. But if you're like, "Hey, I'm going to college, and I want to have the loudest fucking stereo," without being the guy that brings the old fucking, you know, concert JBLs, here you go. These are them. These. The, if I had to give them something, the low end is spectacular, and the treble, while it could be a little murderous, projects fucking perfect imaging. This is like a perfect blend of asshole college kid speaker that fucks with everybody and he's, why you lower that he's like you banging on the wall because through a wall everything sounds like shit so someone's gonna bang on the wall then they're gonna walk in when you leave your dorm door open and they're gonna be like holy god i am enveloped in the sound of beauty by the way samurai shampoo wallpaper available in the wallpaper hoard it's <sighs> If Serwin Vega didn't suck, I think I've said that on another pair of speakers. Because these get stupid loud. They've got amazing low end. The treble is like murder, which is like V shaped. But then they're swans, so they're not that bad. And just it's just, it's the wildest combination of like extreme, fat, not fatiguing. I don't want to say it's fatiguing. It could almost be fatiguing. If it's up loud enough, everything's fatiguing. But it's like, I personally would prefer like a soft gnome. I personally like when they do the mid-range, like the M300s have a mid-range that's a soft dome or a an actual driver. They're not trying to squeeze it out of the treble, out of the fucking murder, murder horn. But these will uh, uh, just, you know. I fly like paper, get high like paper. You, you can't beat that. <laughs> Walk in... This thing is competing with all of like the Vanatus, the Canto Tux, the Triangle L LN01As. There's like a, a, a short list of like very, very capable, this type of speaker, which what did I call it when I did the, the, the sub review? It was like passive speakers. Then there was like smart speakers. It's not quite a smart speaker. It has Bluetooth, whooped, and a remote control, whooped. It's not a powered monitor. Powered monitor is like, like the the, rockets over there or the fluids those are sort of like you need to control the source and everything these are taking a digital input you're getting a remote plug it into the power done they're very simple they're idiot proof the only thing i don't like is the fact that i can't swap left and right channels with the remote or something on the back it is left channel is a passive channel right channel is the plug-in channel the end unless you're using analog then you can do whatever the fuck you want which this does have full balanced inputs on the back and RCAs, and a coaxial, and a fiber optic, and Bluetooth. You can hook it up. It's these are these are these are an easy yes. These are an easy fucking yes. Um, I'm going to do the sound demo soon, and you can get to those sound demos if you're a supporter, patron, subscribe star, where I'm unfettered and I can play it in the fuck I feel like, like this song. If you catch me at the border, got visas in my name. God, it's her fucking voice is cutting into my soul. Swan is, Swan makes towers. Did I tell you this? I'm I'm gonna have a little bit of like a like a therapy session. If you go to SwanSpeakers.com, they finally made the website work. It was broken, and you just go through things like, huh, I wonder what Swan sells. They've got like 250 fucking sets of speakers. I've reviewed like eight, and they're only the ones available on Amazon. They won't send me their fucking crazy. They have towers this big. 
that are not even that expensive, but they don't ship them here. Like, give them to me. They're not self-powered either. They're passive, which means you can run a surround sound. They have 5.1 surround sound systems. They've got some of the weird... They've got line arrays. high vi fucking line arrays. Can you imagine that? Like, for concerts, like six speakers, this big, stacked from a chain. And then they give me these, and I'm just like, how could anything you make beat these? I know it beats these. M300 Mark IIs. You know what? That might be the order. The best swans I have are the Swan M300 Mark IIs. The second best swans that I have are these. Possibly those, the OS10s. Po ju just on a price to performance ratio, these might be better. Officially better. I certainly think if I was doing extended listening, it'd be those because the tweeter's just softer. And it's like a warmer presentation of sound. But there is no fucking way. I'm going to change songs. Hold on a second. There's no fucking way anybody hears this and goes, These speakers suck. They're just so big. And they project sound perfectly in the center when it's in the center. And they're producing low end, unlike you, Air Pulse A100s, which have a probably a better tweeter. That's it. They have a better tweeter. Maybe a little more stately. I also like the red color. I wish Swan would would Swan, as much as I like wood and black. Give me some color. Or give me a white set. The M1 the M10 plus little 2.1 was $129, I think, and it was white, and it was plastic and shit, I'm like, it's such a shit plastic, but they sound so good. Swan can't be beaten for sound, unless you talk about their 500 series with the 8-inch drivers, then I feel like they're just too much. This feels like it wants to be an 8-inch driver and just kill you, and it can't be, so it's like, all right, I guess I'll just sound good instead. What the fuck? Th th that's insanely, like, fucking like hitting you in the face of the baseball bat do i recommend these yes are they extreme yes they they should be the extreme these are the extreme i once watched him piss into a tornado and throw the bottle and it never hit the ground that's these these are the extreme so if you have the D100s, you're doing great for yourself. If you have the D200s, you um, are doing great for yourself and you like it a little bit rough in bed. What can I say? If you have the D300s, I don't think they've changed the D300s, but holy fuck to the specs. The specs, they're $600 now. $200 on top of these, bigger driver, same tweeter, but more power, 300 watts for the whole set, and they're separating it differently, and it's got, it, this is, they're nutty. The Swan, this Swan lineup is nutty. Uh, some people think they're the most beautiful speakers on the earth. Some people think they're meh. I could go either way. I think that honestly, this, the the simpleness of this, the the, the cloth sides, or someone complained about cleaning it. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing, person on the internet? That if you get a, what are you dirtying your cloth side? Get a, a wet wipe or just you know vacuum it or something, lint roller. I think those are prettier. I like the fact that it, sli it slightly leans back. And these are like a big straight fucking... These feel like you put them in a... These feel like you put them in a rough, a rough neighborhood. They got the metal cage over the grill and everything. How delicate that shit is. And I pass by this place. I didn't realize how loud those were. They're just so loud still. If you want a set of speakers that I just can't stop complaining about how loud they get, Swan D200s. That's it, Swan D200s. If you don't have the budget, OS 10s are fucking phenomenal. And if you want to go bigger, you get the Swan M300 Mark IIs. Are we, are we satisfied with that lineup? We are until you go to swanspeakers.com and look at what the fuck they got there. And then I'm just like wondering like, why? Send them to me, Swan. So that all these people that are watching can be like, oh shit, and then go out and try to fucking buy them. Anyway, I'm done. These, available on Amazon. At least they will be until patrons get a hold of this link, which is usually a few days later or earlier before it goes public. So if you join me for $5 a month on Patreon or Subscribestar, you could be one of the lucky people who buys the last three of them that exist on Amazon, and no one else can. It's a running joke with Swan that they have like five of them in stock at any time, and they're like, oh, they're out of stock. We better re re refill that. 
five more, and then they're gone again. So Patreon subscribe star, support this channel, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, which honestly, would I keep these? I, I prob... No, 50-50 chance I keep these. Put them in the yard sale, let somebody take them for $400. It's not like they're like super expensive. If I wanted to buy them again to compare, I would just buy them again. Just buy them again, use them in a comparison, sell that pair again, lose money, but maybe gain a patron or two. So yeah, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, um, hear sound demos. I got to record the sound demos. I'm untethered because no, they're not on YouTube anymore. They're only on for patrons and, and subscribe star subscribers. Do some demo, do some demo work. Use whatever wallpapers I feel like. If you want to have that, do it. You might already be in that thing. If you're already a $5 patron of mine, you can, you're probably in the sound demo Oasis telegram channel. Um, Check out the sponsorship link in the description, please. It's in every video. It's going to be in every video. And I don't know where it goes. And it's going to change every week. Not from the week I recorded this, just in the future. 2025, that link will work. And it'll be some weird bread company that sells you COVID relief. It, I don't know. Something will be in there. Wallpaper available in the hoard. A $10 patronage chat. Ask me any questions you want. If you actually have questions about these sorts of things, sometimes I answer in the comments. Sometimes I don't. I usually don't answer the $5 patrons or anything because like the messaging thing is like full. It hit a hundred six months ago and I just like, you know what? Thank you for supporting me. Join the yard sale. If you need to talk to me directly, $10 a month, put the little little higher paywall. It's a little higher paywall. Besides, you get in that chat and you get to ask me fucking endless questions and I get to lose my mind. But that's fine. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I'm just going to keep... I'll probably keep this up here another hour or two and then switch back to either the OS 10s or... Just, just, just retire them. They're, they're so good. Two years ago, I would have lost my shit on these. Like, like D1090s, and then these, it would have been like the end of days. At least when I did the big version, the D300s of these, they were $600, and it was a little bit less obtainium. These are actually obtainable at 400 From everybody. Everyone can buy them, if they're in stock. I'm done. Enjoy your speakers, and I'll see you all in the next one.